Welcome back to another episode of Running Deep with Shadi and Ramius. How are we doing today, sir? Really well, really well. A little wet down here in Austin, Texas, but it's all good. We're glad to have you back for another episode of Running Deep with Shadi and Ramius. Nice. Uh, looks like we got some uh, some Borg coming. Looks like resistance is futile. Yes, it does. Uh, release 15 came this morning, and been the usual humps and bumps for scopely <clears throat> the patch went off fairly easily but that caused some client issues where people couldn't hack the reds until they did their updates we saw some base issues all sorts of stuff so we'll talk about it as we get into the patch and if you're listening when you're listening to this now obviously the patch has come out uh, and as of right now as we speak um the update for the game has been launched. I've downloaded it. Uh, seems to be running pretty well. I haven't had a chance to play much with it. Just kind of checking the patch notes, stuff like that, double checking, you know, here and there. But as far as everything goes, everything seems to be running rather smoothly. Yeah, looks pretty good. I haven't gotten into the board content. Just uh, been killing hostiles today. Finished up a couple missions. Waiting for the iOS update to to launch, which it finally has done. And like you said, smooth, operating, and well, let's get into it. And it was something else I just noticed here, I was playing around. I went to look at the Alliance's screen where it shows the armadas and everything. Um, the uh, It looks like the, the, the aesthetics actually look really nice. Have you had a chance to look at that? Because they have changed some things. Um, I just logged in there. It looks like they've changed the overall background. And then the Armada's fight icon has changed up a little bit. Yeah, it, I, I like it. It looks a lot smoother. And the, the cool thing is, uh, with you know, for alliances, we contribute a lot of our resources uh, to the alliance to help build it to get stronger, better, faster, so to speak. Um, they've actually highlighted the contribute button. It actually has an animation to it. That's nice. Yes. That is real nice. I, it looks looks good so far. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I've got a dentist appointment i got to be at here in a little while so I've, i'm going to try to play while i'm waiting on the uh, the dentist to do their thing um so with that being said let's go ahead and roll into scopely says all right so with this episode of scopely says there are patch notes and we'll go ahead and highlight those for you real quick kind of go over them and let you see what's what Yep. So, like all times, they have the announcement board, and it says, this is uh, prepare your battle stations for patch 15, theming into the galaxy with a lot of epic content and changes. Got the board entering the galaxy. We're all calling all able-bodied commanders to man their ships and get ready for battle with the board. We've added the following content. A new board officer, board theme mission chain, introducing the board, and more information. Don't forget to check out the blog. So, Scopely likes to get everybody to go over the blog. I uh, got some improvements going on. We've got the turning on and off mission settings for the notification. A lot of people are frustrated with that. When you log in and keep getting the constant notification for different missions you have to do. There was another improvement to the ship carousel where you'd go in and look at a particular ship. And you'd have to start all the way back with the Rialta every time you left a ship. So that's been repaired. And then there's an improvement to the speed up button where you can add by number the number of speed ups of a particular type that you want to use. So that's all really good stuff. And that's nice. And so that's kind of it's, that's nice. So you can actually type in what you're wanting to do as far as a resource or speed up or what have you. So that's really nice. Yeah, I haven't used either of those functions yet, but it's uh, supposed to be really nice. We do have some graphics that Scopely provided, so uh, we can tie those in and let you guys see what that looks like. So we got us a little board cube right now and if you notice on this board cube there's actually a sphere port at the bottom right side of the uh the cube this well i say bottom right side it's kind of got that 3d effect but there is a uh a, a sphere hole so you can poop one of them spheres out <laughs> yep <laughs> sorry that's the best i got <laughs> yeah it'll be interesting to see what they do with that i mean uh one of the other content creators talked about different types of board ships, and I'm wondering if that's uh, their opening to being able to introduce those in the process. Right. 
And then um, we have another short little video here. Uh, as as Ramius mentioned a minute ago, they did introduce another character. It's character's name is one of ten. Got a little bit of a video thing here for you. Um, kind of going into it. Obviously, it's not unlocked yet, uh, but we're getting ready to pop up here with the adaptive shielding and bodyguard information. Um, so right now, like the attack is 90, the defense is 50, the health is 50. Obviously, very entry level stats. But as far as the captain's maneuver, if you want to get into that, Ramius. Well, just a second. I was not him. Or, I, the, can, uh, or I can take this one. There we go. The ship mitigates 5% more of the damage, field health instead of the hull health. And of course, that's active when, the, when he's the captain of the ship. Mm -hmm. And then, and then the his officer ability is the protected cargo is increased by 30%. Uh, that's anytime he's on the bridge. So imagine him coupled with uh, Talon on a, on a minor. Uh, that would... Yeah, him, Talon. Uh, that would yeah. be insane. But here's the other side of it. Um, not even looking at, looking at Talon. Is if you just have him as a minor, um, putting him on the bridge with... Um, any any of the miners that do any sort of uh, hoarding, as far as you know, larger space or protected uh, protected capacity, that is going to be huge. Yeah, and you know what? Here's the other thing uh, side I didn't think about. People people cry about everybody parking a miner on top of a node and, and kind of holding the node hostage, if you will, of mining it and resetting it, mining it, resetting it. Um, that's going to be that's going to be a uh, kind of a a point where like oh my god they're you know the protected is going to be so much lower so it's, it, you know people are going to stay on that node a little bit longer they're not going to reset it nearly as fast or swap miners it, it nearly as much so there's advantages there welcome to game mechanics yep absolutely so some really good stuff uh, it looks like yeah it looks good i haven't seen where the mission starts as far as where to go, um, and I, I, hell, I may not even be at, at the level four at two star unless it's going to be one of those. You got to be level thirty nine and higher to get it to to activate. Um, I don't really don't have those details, so I'm not sure if it's going to be one of those things that everybody's going to be able to take part in, or if you have to reach a certain level before it activates. Well, looking at the blog, it looks like there's going to be different missions each month. And if I understood correctly from an announcement from Panic earlier today, they're not going to launch those missions until tomorrow okay. because of all the challenges they have, they've had today getting things up and going. So I would look for that to, to be a part of it. Good deal. Good deal. Um, so we're about 836 into this one. Not too bad. I've covered a lot of stuff uh, in that short time. Um. Anything you that you may have wanted to cover else that we don't really have? No, I think that's really it. It's a good, quick first look at what's going on with the game today, and we'll be back with some more thoughts after we've had some time to, to play in it, really do some exploration, see how the board interacts with us. Gotcha. So, uh, like I said, this episode, you know, this is patch uh, patch one five. We're going to come out with a uh, with a the next episode which will be Resistance is Futile. Um, that right there, we're going to go a little bit more in-depth. We're going to look at the game, get a chance to play it a little bit, get some get some gameplay for you. Also, um, we have a new look to what we're doing here. Uh, we're going to try to be able to – we're going to go as far as spitting out more episodes, uh, shorter episodes, because I know a lot of folks was requesting that. But, I mean, this this is what we do. We try to bring, it, bring everything to you guys. Um uh, we've changed some of our production a little bit, doing some different things. Today's our first day with the new program that I'm utilizing. Uh, try to give Ramius a little bit of a help on his end with the editing. Um, hopefully you guys like the new look. I've got some things that I still need to play with. So if it looks a little rough, please forgive me, but we're working on making it better. Um, also, uh, we had a donor that helped us out this week. They're going to remain anonymous per their request. Thank you so much. For that, I uh, can't tell you how much this yeah. help helped our podcast. Yep, do appreciate it. And you'll see us in, in all the places, all of the things, uh, as far as Apple, 
YouTube, uh, Stitcher, Google. Spotify, all your all your favorite podcast places. Yeah, we're we're working so. we're working on Stitcher and Spotify now, trying to get all that set up. Uh, we are going to start streaming uh, to Twitch eventually here. Um, I kind of like the idea of streaming to Twitch, kind of giving something live for everybody, and then everybody can kind of go back to YouTube and go, oh, hey, here's this, here's this. So if you guys want to catch us live, that's always a, a very, uh, very applicable idea. Uh, we'll, you know, like, share, uh, hit the reminders, take your alerts, set them up. Uh, we're going to do that. So I think it's, we've got things coming down the road. I myself am going to expand out as far as my gaming side of things, kind of bring a different view of uh, things out. Uh, so just things in the future with the uh, Running Deep Studios. So hope to catch all that. This has been, yeah, this has been patch one five. The Borg's coming, y'all. Get ready. Yep. Fly safe, guys. Live long. Kick ass. We'll see you later. Remember to follow us on our social media channels. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We can be found on iTunes, Podbeam, Patreon, and here on YouTube. Comment below, click like if you do, and subscribe because you should have already. Do not forget to click the bell to get the alert when the next episode is available.